thanks a lot everyone for your time in today's workshop and in this workshop our focus and the core objective is exploring the new print segments we've been uh, doing these webinars to educate print industry what kind of segments are growing we already did for the wide format even packaging photo products and one of the segment is also growing is wall art and canvas and again within pandemic as well as post pandemic the personalized print as well as business to consumer print is growing also so wall art and canvas is one of the segment so if any print company wants to end capture the opportunity for the wall art and canvas what are the easiest way that we are going to discuss in this workshop and in this workshop you'll also learn how we can get into a new print segment within few weeks and then you can launch uh, your online storefront offering all this product so why wall art segment and why canvas so one question is like print companies always wants to grow into a new print segment where they see an opportunity so wall art is one of the segment there is an opportunity because according to the research uh, which is also online and we'll also share you this presentation so you can read in detail but they are saying like the market of the wall art wall art as well as canvas will be growing 5.9 cagr percent every year and which is expected to reach at 72 billion by 2028 this is a global numbers so it's a huge market so it's a total number of sales by 2028 so there is a market and we've been also researching like how many players are offering this wall art and canvas uh, products the competition is less because there are no players there are no more players like if you compare commercial printing or white format versus canvas and wall art uh, companies are less and there is also research like the print companies or the print owners are also looking into expanding into new print segments so the research done by napco that convergence of the print segment so why print companies are growing into new segment because they really want to offer one stop services to their clients so 81% of print service providers are already considering that they want to enter into a new print segment so if they are in commercial they might want to grow into graphics and signage if they are already into white format they might want to grow in promotional and packaging but these are the products which are the highest convergence so commercial graphic signs promotional and packaging so wall art and canvas products can be segregated either into graphic and signage and we can also consider some of as a promotional product so this particular products anybody who is into a wide format printing would know they can uh, i guess produce canvas products as well and today even if you are not producing canvas with the technology with the help of technology there is also an opportunity to partner with print vendors and you can connect uh, with them via api or a setup and technology to outsource print and without investing into a uh, huge in equipments you can just find a good partner who is doing this kind of products and with the help of technology you can easily outsource to them so even without setting up the whole investment learning or equipment you can get into new any new print segment today so that's the best part of the technology so if anybody is new in wall art and canvas what kind of products are in demand so this is these are the high demand products like canvas is one of the easiest but if you really understand there are so many other products like wall art mountain wall arts art prints frame art prints where you see like frame products posters magnets metal prints wood arts acrylic prints photo collage floats and wraps these are all part of the wall art and canvas print segment and if you search online you would find a lot of websites who are already offering this type of product some of the websites are only allowing basic upload photo options and some of the websites would have at least better options for personalizations but again the market is still having an opportunity because there are less uh, companies offering this uh, particular types of product so if any print company wants to expand into this segment what are the challenges the very first challenge any print company would face is offering the better customer experience because if you see online there are already companies offering this type of product with an online platform so the first challenge would be matching the same customer experience so you cannot go below that experience you have to match at least what is available in the industry so many of the time if customers are already ordering on some of the custom for example online websites then we have to minimum match that customer experience 
another challenge is offering the online personalization because in this canvas product it's a custom size fixed size so people would expect uh, those previews even there are frames finishing options so offering those and showing them in online preview it's a challenge for example many of the canvas products are wrapped or many of the canvas products for example is folded from the side so you also need to show them the preview that's also a challenge then offering the custom size standard size and estimation is a challenge because you want to chart them based on the size they are selecting you may want to show them the cost for different finishing options frame options so setting up the estimation is a challenge then getting the print ready output many of the solutions what we see online are allowing users to upload the file but in the back end there is all manual processes for example to show the folding they are just showing for example four corners and then at the back end when they are generating the file again there is a manual work at the folding there are also effects like sometimes you are saying the the mirror effect for example so that print ready file generating with the mirror is also a manual effort so even if you have an online platform but in the back end printers are challenge printer are facing challenge is generating the print ready output with the right wrapping and measurement so sometimes what you show them online versus what customers get after printing there is a difference so that is also a challenge many of the print company are facing the challenge whether they should go with the standard e-commerce or a web to print many of the standard e-commerce allow you to set up the products but then it's a very simple basic upload file type of product file creation is completely manual so there are a lot of challenges in that also and many of the web to print also in the market are not specially designed for canvas so they do not have a capability of offering a canvas so right now in spite of having the e-commerce or invested into a web to print many of the printers would have it it's very difficult for them to expand into canvas unless yeah you are using on print shop then it's a there is a ready module but in case if you are using some other e-commerce or a web to print just adding a canvas segment offering all this personalization option is a big challenge and then deciding producing in house or outsource that is also a challenge if you are producing in house then you need to set up the right equipment if you are outsourcing then you need to set up or you need to find the right partner and the processes to easily outsource to them so in case if you are expanding into this particular segment so you can also let us know because we have i am launching a poll so we want to know what our audience is thinking so the very first question you will see on the screen like are you consider expanding into new print segment if you are then you can say yes and in which particular segment you are planning to expand so if you are planning to expand in wall art wide format there is a multi choice question so you can also uh, give the answers in the multiple uh, choices as well so i have launched the poll the poll will remain open for 1 minute i would request you to answer in the poll so we can hear or we can understand what our audience and what our participant are thinking for this segment and the last question is what are the challenges you find you are thinking a bottleneck to expand into a new print segment what do you think would be a bottleneck if you want to grow into the multi print segment i would request everyone to participate so we we can then analyze the results and discuss the numbers so we can end the poll now hope everyone has responded so 100% people are saying that they are considering expanding into a new print segment so thank you and which segment are you planning to expand uh, maximum 80% of people are saying wall art and canvas <laughs> so thank god we have the right topic today white format and signage 60% people 50% label and packaging promotion and apparent 
10 percent are thinking uh, it's not listed here i would like to know uh, which segment they are considering if they want to put in a chat please put so other audience know which segment are you considering what are the challenges you find a bottleneck expand into new print segment so 50 percent of people are sharing cost and investment 60 percent launching new products to the clients providing quick estimation 50 percent people feel that when they are launching a new segment how to offer the quick estimation is a challenge managing orders for new print products uh yes learning the process is managing the back-end productions file creations is also a challenge so the topic is also on the same side and we understand that these are the challenges and that is the reason at on print shop we decided to uh, uh launch this particular workshop series and especially today we are discussing uh, for the canvas and wall art so th thanks everyone for sharing your valuable inputs so let's start in this workshop the very first thing we would like to share that on pin shop has uh, a capability of offering multi print segment but today we'll focus on canvas as well as wall art segment in case if you like to know more about other print segments you can always connect to us so canvas solution uh, what we have specially designed is for the canvas wall art posters and many other products which i showed side to you this could be single split and multi photo canvas is where you can have single photo for the whole canvas and also there are options for multiple photos as well and as the challenge which i shared earlier that the challenge is showing them the actual preview that is where also we have worked uh, really well and showing end client what you say what you see what you get kind of preview and they can also see the image preview simulator effects and in the back end you get the print ready output so the very first part we will discuss is how easily you can launch the new product and services with an online storefront so we'll discuss the print e-commerce part and even though you are not producing or you do not have a capability of producing canvas in-house there are also options to connect with the vendors via api or you can also partner with local vendor and using vendor module in the on print shop you can easily outsource those prints to your print partners so it's not always that you have to have the equipments to produce all the types of multi-print segments you can easily find the print vendor another part is an estimation so in print e-commerce it is very important to produce the right estimation so for canvas solution for any other print products also custom size fixed size we'll discuss how easily you can set up an estimation in the dynamic price calculator and then how we can easily market this product because some of the e-commerce and web to print are able to means you're able to set up the basic products but then you really, you really need to launch this product to the market you really need to spend into email marketing feedbacks even launching these new products with an existing customers so this is we will discuss in the first part and the next part would be an order management so let's first discuss the print e-commerce so i'm just showing you some of our customers website how these guys are offering a variety of products and i'll also show you how they're offering uh, the canvas and similar products now this particular customer is offering wide range of product but one segment they have created is uh, the canvas product and here you can see variety of canvas products for example uh, they have created is custom canvas prints and brushed uh, board and pan board and multi canvas and wallpaper customs so these are similar products people can offer uh, using the canvas solution now this is another customer specialized they have launched the whole site offering the wide range of wall art and canvas product so there are many clients who are launching specific niche products and they are creating a whole website offering the same products so with on pin shop with one platform you can offer all the wide range of products so there is also an option of launching a multi store where you can create a specific site for a specific product so here they have created products like stretch canvas fine art paper photo paper and customers are able to order another customer easy graphic they are offering variety of products like posters custom wallpaper art canvases so this is a a one solution but you can name the product the way you like and there are tens and twenties of different types of product you can name it and offer it like here they're offering gallery gallery canvas print photo quality posters and so many other products which i also included in the presentation which we will share with you so the very first thing we will discuss how easily you can set up these products and what kind of customer experience we can offer to the customer so this is uh one of our demo site where we have set up certain products like acrylic prints canvas so let me show you certain products and how easily 
the end customers are able to personalize the canvas and then order it on the website. So the very first thing canvas solution has some specialized features, which is making the experience of online ordering so easy and so nice. So any end customers will be able to quickly personalize the canvas and order it on the storefront. So this particular storefront uh, could be in your own domain, in your own URL, you can launch it. And this is, for example, a canvas product. So from the left-hand side, customers are able to select and personalize the image they can add from the PC. Or if I want to upload from my computer, from my mobile also, for example, I have certain images on my cell phone. I can also scan this QR code and then fetch my uh, images from the smartphone and then use it in here. Or I can even fetch it from my Facebook. I may want to order a canvas using my personalized picture of my family, of my kids. And I have on the Facebook, I can use it. Plus Google Photos, even stock images are also available. So for example, I'm selecting something from the list. You can also create the image library. So this image library you can create for the end customer. So end customer can also use your own image library. So the very first thing here, I'm selecting a size. This could be also a custom size and based on the size, it would show me the preview, for example, how this canvas would look like. If it is a square rectangle, I'd be able to see how the images are getting adjusted. So the very first preview which we have created is a border thickness. So here there is a border thickness. If I do it 1.5 inch, it will create a 1.5 inch border thickness versus is a one inch. So you can see the preview is getting changed. Now this is what is generating the best customer experience for the end client. And here we can see the folded option is design if I do it mirror, automatically you will see that the preview is getting mirror uh, on the edges. Let me do the small size so you'll be able to see the larger effects. So here if I say folded, then the edges you will see it is getting folded. So the image is getting stretched on the sides. But as soon as I did mirror, only it is showing me mirror. So the edges of the design or the image is getting mirrored. So the sum of the part of the image is getting mirrored. Then if I choose black, it shows me black edges or white, or I can even choose a custom color. Now here, another office image effect, in case customer would like to do it black and white sepia, we also give them an option of doing it, or they can keep it original. Then there are option of frame type. So color, so they can choose the color frames. You can offer any color if you like for the frame and automatically frame previews in there. And if you offer them premium frame, you can offer them the premium frame, which could be like a wooden frame or golden or light or silver, whatever premium frame you have. And the best part of the system, if I change the size automatically, it will show me the frame expanded according to the size. And once I feel there is also foreground and background colors also. Now here in case, if you want to use the foreground color, I can choose the foreground and I can also choose uh, the background color, especially in the canvas. If you're already offering, then you might know that this is a requirement of uh, who is already offering canvas would know this. People are demanding uh, the background and the foreground color. So once I do that, I'm able to see the whole preview. And then this is the actual preview, which I'm able to see. So this is a 2D preview, which we have, especially in the canvas, which we have created. And then, the image simulator would also give you a preview that you can add images of certain images of the house, for example, the living room, the bedroom. So you can show them uh, the dining area, how this particular image would look like in their house. For example, this is the same product, but then this is called an acrylic print. In acrylic print, you can offer the acrylic materials. For example, the material in the acrylic could be anything. So you can choose that material. Similarly, we have created mounting options. So in the acrylic, you may not offer all the frames and all the foreground background colors, but you may offer them, them the accessories. So they can also see, for example, all those options. So depending on the product, you can set up. Now here, we would also like to share that we, in the canvas solution, you also get an option of split wall canvas as well as multiple image canvas. So split wall canvas means I can choose one image and that will be splitted into multiple canvases. So for example, in this example, if I set up one image into this canvas, automatically it will be stretched in all the canvases. And in that you can also create multiple options. For example, this is 
five canvas images. So system would charge them for the five canvas. And this is like 12 by 12, four and 26 by 26, one. So in the back end, you can also combine multiple canvas and that is how you are able to create multiple layouts. And the same options are also available here. So now if you're selecting mirror, then they're able to see the mirror effects across all the different canvases. And here also they have preview like this. And they're also able to see the complete preview how the canvas would look like, for example. Another option is a multiple image canvas. So here, up, it is very similar to split canvas, but here I can choose multiple images per canvas. So here I am, for example, selecting this for the left side, right hand side, I'm selecting this. And at the bottom, I'm selecting this. So here in each canvas slide, I can use a different image and I can choose as many windows I like. Now in the split canvas and multiple canvas, it is a mix of multiple images. So we are also charging them for multiple canvases. So if they're using one image or multiple image canvas, it's, it is made of multiple uh, frames and windows. So multiple frames would be charged. So in this, this is a Savel panel display. So they will be charged for 20 by 10, four and 16 by 23. And once they finish an order, we are also showing them the preview that this is how your canvas would come with. And then you can also set up the instructions and then customers are also able to start tracking uh, their orders online. And if they want to reorder, they can also reorder uh, easily uh, from the back end. So the very first thing, like how difficult it is to create this product? So if I share like to create a canvas product, it only takes hardly maybe 10 minutes and we will do it right now. So just to add a canvas, we have created this specialized system. So you don't have to worry about how to create this kind of preview because you might be surprised like how would I create a, a folded and how would I create a mirror preview? How the frames would be built? How many, how much efforts we have to put? But that all is set up into this specialized solution to set up a product like canvas. There is a specialized category. So you just have to select that, okay, I want to set up a canvas product and accordingly the system will work. The price category is like, it's some range base or a fixed quantity. Fixed quantity means you will sell in the fixed quantity, but normally in the canvas, you would allow customers to order any quantity. So they, they can order maybe one, two, three, four, five, any quantity they like. And in certain split canvas, as well as in multiple uh, photo canvas, they will be ordering multiple canvases. So here you can put the sizes of the canvas. So actually canvas size could be anything square or rectangle. You can add as many sizes you like, and then you can define your prices. For example, what would be the price of the product? So I'll show you certain products which we already created. Now this is, for example, a canvas product, which I already created. So I will show you the sizes which I have added. So one canvas could have multiple sizes. So that is how the price calculator is displaying the number of sizes. And here you are setting up the price. So for example, if somebody orders one, uh, what is the price? And then you can also set up multiple ranges or the quantity points. If you the order of higher quantity, you may want to charge them less. So you can also set up a range if somebody buys from one to 10 per piece is 49. If they order maybe 10 to 11 to 20, for example, the higher the quantity, the per piece cost can also go down. And here you will see one option called canvas. And that is where we have created this specialized system. So certain canvas default events, which we have programmed is the thickness. So if you select a thickness, you can also show them, you can also put the custom thickness. So. 1.5 and one inch is a thickness, but if I want to offer two inches or three inches, I can also select other thickness and put the pixel accordingly. Then we have these effects, canvas edges, folded mirror, frames, and foreground, background color. So this is all easily coded. So you don't have to do anything. For example, if I want to create a border thickness, I just have to select that this particular option, I want to apply the frame thickness, one inch is a frame thickness equals to 72. So when somebody click this option and click on one inch, it would apply the frame thickness and 72. So this is our option. We have named it border thickness one inch. And that is how system is showing them one inch equals to that specific thickness they want to use. So let me change 
foreground none and then you'll be able to see the thickness so now automatically you see one inch then automatically that event is triggering so these all options are automatically created you don't have to do any other uh, coding or any other uh, options on that so in here like for example if i select border thickness as 108 so i have named the option as border thickness 1.5 inch and i'm selecting so all these options are created here just to show you border thickness two options age designs but with these options, what event it should trigger, that is what you are defining in the canvas system. So now each design, I have already created an option, folded mirror, black and white. So here, when option is age design folded, select the effect canvas, age is folded. So programmatically, we have triggered this event. So when you say folded, when customer selects folded, automatically the event will trigger folded and option option. Mirror is an option. The best part of the system, you'd be surprised to see like how these frames are created. And these frames are also custom and dynamic. As soon as I selecting the size, it is automatically creating the frame. And the frame is also really, it's, it looks like an actual frame. So you will see like how the frames are cut from the left hand side, from all the four corners. And you will see actually the frame is generated, uh, which is equivalent to an actual frame. For example, what customers, are ordering or what kind of frames you are generating. It is creating a, a very similar preview. So here you will be able to see that. Now to generate the frame, our team have also done a custom programming. So here, for example, dark, light, these are all the options which we have created, but here you're adding the frame left and right images. So you only have to add the left image of the frame and the top image of the frame. And border width or pixel if you want to set otherwise automatically system would set it up the left and top image accordingly so this is for example the left side of the of the frame and this is the top and automatically depending on the size system will expand the frame so if i select a specific frame here automatically according to the size the frame will be expanded and then on top of that, we have more options, like recent options we have added is called foreground and backgrounds. So foreground and background normally used in canvas. Custom color also, custom color could be any color picker they can choose. So in foreground, background, we can offer any color. Even in frame, people are offering custom color. So all these options are ready. In case if you need to develop all this feature in any e-commerce or any other web to print, it takes a lot of time, but this comes by default from day one. And that is how these all customers are able to offer these canvas products into their sites very easily. The next part, which we would like to discuss is an order management, because sometimes you might find a solution which says, okay, we, we have a canvas solutions and you might see a canvas solution, but then the biggest challenge is generating the print ready output, which I was sharing, for example, generating the print ready output with the proper thickness, with the proper age designs, and with the proper measurements, if it is a custom size, plus these effects like folded and mirror. And in on top of that, if you have multiple canvas images, for example, split canvas, as well as multi-photo canvas, then you also need the right measurement and the right output for multiple canvas. So here, for example, this product has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different type of canvas. So we will place this certain orders and I would show you right away how the system is generating the print ready output. So I'm, gen I'm putting, for example, few orders into the system. and we would be able to download the same file from the backend. So assume that end customer is submitting the order and then we will see this order into the backend. So this is one of the order which I did for the canvas and also did for multiple canvas 
earlier also so i also download that file which has a multiple pictures on one canvas now if i download this particular canvas which is having a specific folded uh, and the specific options which customer has selected so let's download the file and see the job ticket as well as the print ready file so in the job ticket there will be a complete specification what kind of options what customer have selected so job ticket will be for your team members to understand what is the border thickness what is the age design what is the image effect with the thumbnail and this is actually the print ready file so now you can see the canvas is generated for example with the print ready file now if i show you the ages now you'll be seeing the ages is already mirrored so some of the part of the images is mirrored so this particular 1.5 inch thickness is already mirrored so from here you would you might see this grass is mirrored for example or on this side we might see the the water is mirrored so this is the print very file system as generated plus i would also show you some other multiple canvases also now in multiple canvases for example what will happen we are also generating multiple images so this canvas was five images so actual canvas if i show you in the my account so you'll be able to i'll be able to show you the preview for example so you'll be able to understand how the canvas looks the finished canvas and how the print ready file is generated so this particular canvas is this multiple image one this one so now this is the mixture of one two three four five images as a canvas so here you can see there are multiple canvas images so this is like a again the ages of the photos are mirrored so that's why i can see the number of canvases so once it is finished it would look like this particular canvas so the system is also generating the exact print ready file which requires into printing so many of the time many of the system or many of the website when you upload the file they just allow you to upload the images but in the manually in the back end they all have the manual processes to generate the print ready file is again the whole manual uh, effort so here in on print shop we have also taken care that the minimum efforts again the challenges are labor shortage finding the right team members so even if you're outsourcing this to the vendor vendor can directly print in case if you're doing it in-house you also get the print ready file so the second part of the canvas solution is the order management so in spite of having many of the print companies have invested into e-commerce or other web to print system but still their back-end process are completely manual because it helps them generate the order but the back-end print order management is manual like we have certain customers who invest into shopify which is helping them to get the order again for very limited static items but in the back end as soon as they get the order all the processes are manual so in spite of having a e-commerce still the back-end process are manual either they are using still excel sheets to manage the production processes and they have graphic designers creating the manual files so in spite of having online platform or automated technology still the process are manual so yeah, we have also taken care of the order management so that is where our focus has been more from last few months that how we can simplify the order management for print companies and not only online from all the sales channels they can manage orders in on print shop so for canvas solutions especially the automated print ready file generations production automations allowing you to streamline our operations outsource to vendors we will discuss in the second part and the post purchase order management so how we can have one single system to manage all your online offline orders apart from whatever activity you do in the in the print shop you can also manage it uh, from the same platform and if you have multiple production systems how we can easily manage via job board and easily manage hundreds of jobs in on print shop so here the back end part is like as i explained how easy it is to create the product and how easy it is to download the print ready file for the output now let's discuss if you guys are printing in house you can easily download all the jobs and outsource uh, sorry produce in house but then in case if you really want to grow into multi print segment and you do not have any print equipments or you do not have the specific print equipment then on print shop also has a vendor module so there are two options here either you can register and and, and uh, partner with your local print partners or print vendors and then you can set up those vendors into the system so there is a section called business partner and you can register your local vendors or your print partners and another option is partnering with uh, large printers like four over or cena printing and they might uh, they have an api 
apart from other countries, uh, you need to check if any vendor is an AV API, then you can also integrate and you can pull all the products from the vendor API and easily sell on your site. And then once you get an order, you can easily outsource to them. But even if you have a local print partner using the vendor system, this is a game changing strategy because in, in today's market, if you really want to grow into multi-print segment without a huge investment, you can just find a good and right partner and you can, with the help of technology in a cost-effective way, you can grow into multi-print segment because your customers are looking for one stop, for example, a vendor or one stop a solution partner. So in that case, people really want to work with print companies who offer them all the types of services and they do not want to work with multiple print vendors because they, if, if one printer is able to serve all the types of different products, they would be more than happy to deal with that particular vendor. So here, once you set up your vendors, system would allow you to assign job to a printer. Now you can also set up an automated rules. So if you already know that, okay, this specific vendor is good with this specific type of product, you can also assign auto assignment rules. For example, all the commercial printer printing uh, goes to maybe this print vendor. If all the canvas and photo types of product goes to vendor number two, you can set up those rules. Even quantity wise, you might have a two different vendor, digital print vendor and offset print vendor. So lower quantity goes to digital print vendor, higher quantity goes to offset print vendor. You can also set up those rules. So once you set up those rules automatically, system will trigger an email to that vendor and vendor has a limited access of the platform. They can uh, process the job, they can download the job and they can also update the status if it is shaped, if it is in the production and customer get automatic email notification. So this vendor module allows you to partner with vendor and expand into multi-print segment. And not only Canvas all art, it could be any other print segment. And if you're producing in-house, another challenge is tracking the orders internally because you might have a lot of different processes in in-house and you want to track all the orders which you have in the system. And you also want to track your internal production processes. So that is where on-print shop, job board, as well as dashboard, streamlines and automate the operations and you get a complete clarity for example how many jobs you have on hand what particular stage they are on so this particular job board allows you to manage all the orders at one centralized place apart from online on pinch also has a system to to push the orders directly offline so you can also input all your walk-in email phone orders custom quotes but as soon as the orders are confirmed you are able to track them on the job board so Many of the print companies in the back end, maybe an e-commerce allows them to launch uh, a new products like Canvas Wallet, but the back end process are manual. So they have to again invest into a tool. Many of print company I came across in last few months, they are saying we are using multiple system. We have an e-commerce in the front, but in the back end we have Excel sheet. So as soon as order comes, every members is writing in Excel and we are tracking in Excel. So it's huge effort for us, manual entries, multiple entries. One customer mentioned like we have launched in Shopify, but in the back end, we have Excel sheets at every production stage or every production station, people are managing an Excel sheets. And he was saying like every day I'm making 50 to 100 manual entries in spite of having an online platform. Then they are making an entry into uh, project management tool like Trello to manage the production processes. Then again, they are making manual entries in accounting. So in spite of having or invested into e commerce, still a lot of manual entries are happening. And that is where on pin shop is a print e-commerce as well as print order management. So both this component mix is a complete platform. So print e-commerce is for your end customers offering the modern customer experience. So we can increase our new sales as well, repeat sales. And in the back end, you have the streamline operations and you have streamline processes to automate the back end processes. So you can see basically how many orders you have. You can categorize those orders depending on the print processes you have. And we also have a job board. So every station you have the job board. So easily job board people can also scan it via barcode automatically that job will pop up they can see what is a job and at every station they can uh, produce the job uh, download the print ready file the job ticket and once they complete the job they can also simply drag and drop or there's also a scanning machine which can scan to the next station so in short basically we have also taken care of the print order management in the back end and that is how like uh, this particular webinar is to be honest is focusing on the canvas and wall other segment but if you really want to understand the whole on pin shop as well as how it can help you expand into multi print segment and how it can help you even streamline your back end processes uh, you can also connect to us in detail 
but it allows you to manage all the online and offline orders, whether you get email, walk-ins, online, WhatsApp, website, everything can be managed in one single platform. And today on Pinch of Bags has become uh, one particular platform which allows you to get into multi-print segment because there are already modules. And in the back end, it's a complete centralized print order management which allows you to manage all the processes and all the orders at one place. And I would be more than happy to share even this presentation and this webinar is also accurate. So you'll be able to go and uh, go with this in detail and you can understand. And some of the third party integrations are all on the screen, but then it's it's a, it's ever growing and expanding library for end-to-end -end automation. Like as soon as order goes in on pin shop, it automatically pushes into workflows, MIS accounting, CRM for end-to-end -end automation to avoid the manual entries, to avoid uh, the human dependency.